Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Sweetheart Bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 24 A colored bands, 24 B colored bands, 14 C colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using purple, pink, and white to make this bracelet. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Convert your loom to the rectangle configuration. All of the pins should be in straight rows. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as I show you how to place the first five bands on the loom. We'll start from the center pin and place an A colored band out to the left. Then we'll place 2A out to the right, 3B will be placed to the center, and 4B. Five C up the center. I'll repeat this pattern one more time. One A, two A, three B. Four B, and five C. I'll fast forward from here. Please pause the video and refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. And once we finish placing those bands, we'll need to place a cap band on this last pin. Use a C colored band, place your fingers on each side, twist it to a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as I show you how to loop the first five bands. We'll start from the center pin and we'll loop the C colored band forward. Hold the cap band down with your thumb and pull your C colored band forward. Then we'll loop the B colored band out to the side. On the diagram that's band 2B. And then we'll pull band 3B out to the right. 4A will be looped to the center pin. Pull the bands above that back and loop to the center. Push down. And 5A will also be looped to the center. I'll repeat that pattern one more time. 1C is looped forward. Pull all the bands above 
that band back, get the C band in your hook and pull it forward. 2B will be pulled to the side. That should be the top B colored band down in there. And you can tell by how that pulled. You grab the right one, you pull it out to the left. And 3B will be pulled out to the right. 4A is looped to the center. And 5A. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video and refer to the diagram as you loop your bands. And the last two bands will be pulled to the center pin. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. We'll pull all the bands on this last pin up to the top. Slide your hook down through the middle channel of that pin and tilt it out to the side. We'll place a C-colored band on the end of the hook and pull back. Slide the hook up through that channel and place both ends of the band on your hook and then move to the thickest part. With your fingers, pull the bands off the pins and continue to pull your bracelet from the loom. If made on one loom, your bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many additional bands you'll need. For smaller wrists, you may only need three or four bands for your extension. For larger wrists, you may need six or more. Place the number of bands in a single chain up one side of your loom. And then once you've placed those, you'll place the cap band from your bracelet on this last pin. The end of your bracelet, locate the cap band and stretch that. Place it from the last pin to the one behind it. And then start looping your single chain extension. Once you've looped this last band, pull it to the center pin, and that creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Hold your C-clip with the open side facing forward and snap it over your bands. Make sure it's on securely, and then you can lift your extension from the loom. On the other end of your bracelet, pull the hook away and slide your two fingers in those bands. This creates an area where you can attach the other side of your C-clip, secure the bands to one side, snap it over the other, and pull against it. Make sure they're in there securely. And there we have the finished Sweetheart Bracelet.